I am a an adult. I am single. Uh, yeah. Hugs. It's more meaningful to me when I can spend a long time with someone I love, just us, or someone I love does something practical to help me out. I would say practical, because you know what? I don't date anymore, and there are, there are hundreds of reasons why I don't date anymore. But one of them is that I have put up with a bare minimum from these men, right? Less than the bare minimum. Because the amount of, like... In the past, like, I've been with guys who, like, refu out like outright refused to go on dates with me. Like, I would suggest things. I'd be like, oh, like, I'm getting frustrated because all we ever do is, like, fucking stay at inside all the time and normally like i don't really leave the house very often as we have established but it would be nice to go on a date every now and then rather than feel like you're being used um so i'm gonna say put them to work make them you know make yourself a useful man it's more meaningful to me when someone I love gives me a little gift as a token of our love of cons of concern for each other, or I get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with those I love. What are they counting as leisure time? Is that like a euphemism? Is leisure time like... Sexy time? Because I'll say no. No, thank you. Uh, Amy, hey! Hello, Amy. How are you doing? Uninterrupted sexy time. Oh, wait. I guess you wouldn't want interrupted sexy time, would you? That did happen to me once. Oh, in a hotel. The hotel staff walked in. Uh, God knows why they walked in as well, because it was in the middle of the night, a bit worrying actually. But I'm prom night too, hey. Uh, I guess uninterrupted leisure time? Depends who's interrupting. Hey. What, cook holding? You don't want coitus. Interrupt us. Oh, bloody hell. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something unexpected for me to help me with a project. I can share an innocent touch. An innocent touch with someone I love. Wait, innocent? That ain't, that ain't anything rude, though, is it? That's not naughty. What do they- what- what is an innocent touch? When does touching stop being innocent? You hate being touched? Yeah, me too. I- yeah, you know what? Yeah, I don't like being touched either. Someone I love does something unexpected for me. But you know what I've been trying to do recently? I've been trying to hug my mum more. Because we're both a little bit awkward. Like, I'll approach her to hug her. And bless her, like, I feel like she doesn't know what to do. Heavy petting? Oh, I do that with my cats. I pet my cats. And I give them kisses. I go up to, I, I, I go up to them like this. And then they know they're in for a bad time. They're like, oh, God, not this shit again. What the fuck? I know. What is an innocent touch? Yeah, I don't like touching. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love puts their arm around me in public. Oh, hell no. Public displays of affection. Oh, God, no. Oh, you know what? I'm starting to think I'm like a, a miserable old man a bit, aren't I? 
You love this, Luke. Oh, I don't, I don't know. It, it could end badly. Absolutely. Someone I love surprises me with a gift. A gift. It's more meaningful to me when I'm around someone I love, even if we're not really doing anything. Or I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving, or putting my arm around someone I love. I ain't a... Do you think I'm a loser? High-fiving people? You know, what I'm envisioning in my head is like, high-fiving after sex. Please tell me you guys have never done that. That's what Prince Andrew is going in his behaviour on Epstein's Island. Oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> Count cart is 64% boomer. You have, Luke. Why am I not surprised? Good job on the sets. Oh, you know what? That's, that's never happened to me, so... Yeah. That, that explains a lot, actually. I'm around someone I love. I ain't fucking... Holding hands is cute. I'm five foot one. I, who am I going to put my arm around? The only people I can put my arm around are my cats. During sex, the Eiffel Tower. Is that a sex move? I'm around someone I love. It's more meaningful to me when I receive a gift from someone I love or I hear from someone I love that they love me. Who on earth would choose the gift over someone saying that they love them? That is fucked up. If you care more about gifts than receiving, you know, someone saying that they love you, that, that, that is fuck that. Kate Dingle? <laughs> Luke. Oh shit, if Kane Dingle had a sex change. I, I hear from someone I love that they love me. It's more meaningful when I sit close to someone I love or I am complimented by someone I love for no apparent reason. Wait, is it not a sex move? It is? Is it in the like Karma Sutra book? You know what? I'm really bad with compliments. I, 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 even like, even when I'm dating someone and they compliment me, I'm like, I'm suspicious of it. I'm like, nah, nah. But also, meh. I sit close to someone I love. It's more meaningful to me when I get the chance to just hang out with someone I love. Or I unexpectedly get small gifts for someone I love. Again, we have established. I don't... Uh, I, I do like... You know, that there isn't much that makes me happier in the world than just chilling out in my room playing Minecraft by myself, preferably. Um, in a dark room. It is nice hanging out with, with people. But you don't want to do that all the time. You need to keep things spicy, you know. You need to have some adventure in your relationships. I don't think the Eiffel Tower was a thing when the Karma Sutra was being written up. Well, they should rewrite it. They should, shouldn't they? Why not? Do a rewrite. Karma Sutra 2.0. The Angry Pirate. Is that a sex move? You've know you you've been single for too long when you have no I no answer for any of these questions. Yeah, it is difficult, isn't it? Some of them. I get the chance to just hang out. Gifts. It's more meaningful to me when I hear someone I love tell me I'm proud of you. Someone I love helps me with a task. Mum. Sorry to bother you again. Are you proud of me? Yeah. You're just saying that. No, I'm not 
I feel like you saying that because you have to say that. Wait. Lucy, are you proud of me? Did she just laugh when you asked? Yes, she did. See, I get no respect. Did she say yes? She did, but initially she, she said no. Well, yeah, initially she did She did laugh. Did you hear her laughing? Did you? Oh, bloody hell, man. She, she's cute. I'm telling you guys, I get no respect. I... Yeah, it's more meaningful when someone says they're proud of you, surely. Over helping me with a task? I get to do things with someone I love, or I hear supportive words from someone I love. Shit. Yeah. That's tough, that. I don't know. I'd say they're the same. I get to do things with someone I love, or... I'd say... Doing things? Oh, shit. Hey, banana, hey, you're dirty-minded too, are ya? I feel like all the dirty-minded people kind of, like, gravitate towards me. Yeah, they're, they're equal, aren't they? I guess I get to do things with someone I love, like making memories and whatnot. Someone I love does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things. Oh, shit. Or I feel connected to someone I love through a hug. I don't know. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things. I feel like whoever wrote this question has some, like, deep-rooted trauma that they need to work out. Like, they, that you know they've been fucking... They've been through some shit in, in order to think this question up. You get neither from me, our ex. Oh, Amy. Bloody. You, you know what, Amy? You deserve better. You deserve better, Amy. Who have I got to fuck up? Who, who, who are we beating up today? Who, it's been a while since I've threatened anyone with my Minecraft sword. Someone I love does things for me. Instead of just talking about doing nice things. Or... I'm gonna say... Hug. You do deserve better. My own hand. Yeah, it does hurt when I whack it. Hold on a minute. Luke, you've got a date, have you? The author got promised a Valentine's meal and they got the golden arches. Oh, McDonald's? Oh, uh... One year... Uh, I, uh, I... My ex, well, he, he was my boyfriend at the time. My ex now, obviously. Took me to Pizza Hut for Valentine's Day. Would you be surprised if I told you that we were the only people in Pizza Hut on Valentine's Day? And then, to make matters worse, he suggested that I order from the children's menu. I mean, I know that I sound like a child, but fucking hell. I, and, and what made it even worse than that was the, the waitress was like, no, you you can't order from the children's menu. You're too old. So that's about the way that my love life has been going, to be honest. Um... Have you actually, have you actually, Luke? You've got a date on Twitch. Oh my god. Your first date with your ex ended up in McDonald's after you wrecked a whole bottle of, after you necked a whole bottle of wine. You ended up parallel to compute everywhere. Oh, that sounds like me the other week, Amy. Did you have a nice time at least? And you know what? The thing is, there's nothing wrong with going to McDonald's or somewhere or like KFC, you know, these kind of like fast food places for a date. 
not not on Valentine's Day. Did he do that because he was tight with money or because of weight? I've weight. Fucking yeah. Um. Well, no, because like I offered to pay. Like, I like. Here's the thing. Like, this might be like a controversial opinion. If I do go on a date with someone. Obviously, it's nice for other people to offer to pay for, you know, for stuff. But I prefer personally to pay for myself. Because in the past, I've had guys that have, like, paid for things. But then, like, it becomes very obvious that they expect something in return. So now I'm just like, you know what, I'd rather pay for myself. You banned yourself from wine after that. A whole bottle as well. I mean, should I be impressed? You've always been quite romantic. Free course meal with some nice wine and a bloody good seat. <laughs> oh, that, you know what? That did sound very romantic to begin with, Matt. You did start at a restaurant but couldn't find anything. Yeah, it, well, that's fine. That, it, it, if, you know what? It is the thought that matters. If the intention was to go somewhere nice, then, you know, that that's fine. But you end up in, like... I also went on a first... You know what? With the same guy who took me to, Val to, uh, to Pizza Hut on Valentine's Day. For our first date... He was like, oh, we should go to, uh, we should go and get a drink from, like, a cafe or something, which is a nice first date, you know? Nothing wrong with going to a cafe. Nice, low-key first date. Uh, you know, not too much pressure or anything. Um, I, I, I recommend, you know, the whole, like, going to a cafe for a first date. However, the cafe in question that he took me to was the cafe in Asda. For anyone not in the UK, Asda is a supermarket. Um, and we had a cup of tea each and it was like one pound. It came to like one pound. <laughs> you see, I'd make the tab Make sure the tab is open and pay so no bill. Look, you're bloody mischievous, you are. We did we did know each other previously, so luckily didn't embarrass yourself. Apparently I gave zero fucks. Amy, did he look after you at least? Because it sounds like maybe he did look after you. If you got really drunk. As there's owned by Walmart, yeah. I reckon he wanted to do the that's as the price smack. Wait, what's that? What, he wanted to smack my bum? Me and him never even kissed either. I think I think I was his first girlfriend. We were together for three months. And we didn't even hold hands. Bless him. He, you know what? I really hope that guy's doing well actually. I do. Because he he was he, me and him actually had a lot in common. Um, it's more meaningful to me when I hear praise from someone I love or someone I love gives me something that shows a lot of these questions are quite like materialistic aren't they would I rather hear praise or someone gifts me something took you home oh shit Amy well, as long as he was looking after you. I hear praise from someone I love. It's more meaningful to me. How, how many bloody questions are there? It's more meaningful to me when I'm able to just be around someone I love. Or I get a back rub from someone I love. I'd love a back rub, actually. A head massage. With some of my exes, I did suggest, like, I, I kind of, like, hinted, and I know that you shouldn't hint, you know, especially especially not with men, bloody hell. Um, 
I like hinted about giving each other massages because I wanted a massage, but they never got the hint. This music's a bit maddening, isn't it? Maybe I'll get a massage. Maybe I'll treat myself. What music do we want? You'll buy me one? Look, bloody hell, man. You, you throw your money around, you do. With those sound alerts, you want Spongebob music. Where is Spongebob music? I have been touched. A massage is quite possibly your worst nightmare. Yeah, it's, they're very awkward, aren't they? Hints don't work with those. So you have to telegraph your intentions. Just say it outright, but we still might not get the hint until six or eight working days later. <laughs> Toffee, I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> You're trying to be nice. Luke, that is very nice. However, get yourself a massage. Treat yourself, Luke. You work too hard, man. I would love a back rub, though. I'm able to just be around someone I love. Depends how hard their hands are. Oh, yeah, when men have calluses on their hands. Ugh. Someone I love reacts positively to something I've accomplished. Or someone I love does something for me that I know they don't particularly... Why would I want someone I love to do something for me that I know they don't enjoy? That is fucked up. Absolutely not. Reacts positively to something I've accomplished. It's a sign of a hard work. That is true, Toffee. That is. What? What's that? What's that meme? It's. It's not much, but it's honest work. I don't know. I'm not up on my memes nowadays. I'm becoming a bit of a boomer. I'd give you one and a background. <laughs> Super Mario Kart, sick calluses. You've become a deviant in chat tonight. Oh, you know what? There, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I, I like that you guys feel comfortable enough to be deviants in, in this chat. I'm able to be in close physical proximity to someone I love. Or I sense someone I love showing interest in the things I care about. Oh, I don't know. How many questions? We're only... This is a long quiz. We're like... We've got 15... Oh, we've got to speed up a bit. Um, what do they mean by physical proximity? Still not as bad as that Findom guy that was here a couple of... Hey, you remember him? That was, uh, that was something else, that. Oh, do you think I could have finessed him? Do you think I could have gotten, like, a hundred subs out of him or something? Because I thought about that afterwards. Like, some Findom guy came in and he was like, Hey, do you do Findom? And I was like, no. Uh, and then we, we were talking about that for a little bit. Uh, because I had some questions. I was intrigued. Probably could have. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come back, man. Come back. <laughs> Findom Bimbo Sub, where are ya? Someone I love works on special projects with me that I have to complete. Or someone I love gives me an, in an exciting gift. How exciting? Again, a lot of, like, materialism, materialism going on here. Special projects? Oh, 
feel like you you're working on something together I, I feel like working on like a project together really is like a good bonding experience isn't it yeah get your bills paid for a few feet pits every month sounds like a good deal oh yeah i'm gonna start doing that soon once my feet are feet are ready I'm complimented by someone I love on your, my appearance. Oh, fucking no. Absolutely not. I've not even read the next thing, but I know it ain't that. Someone I love takes the time to listen to me. I really... Who, again, who would choose to be complimented on their appearance than someone taking the time to listen to them and understand their feelings? How much of a fucking egomaniac narcissist do you have to be? Someone who's vain? Yeah, bloody hell, man. I can share a meaningful touch. Oh, God. Please, God, no meaningful touches. In public as well. <laughs> or someone I love offers to run errands. Hey. Errands? Yeah. Someone I love does something special for me to help me out, or I get a gift that someone I love put thought into choosing. Now. A gift that someone has put thought into is quite sweet. Does something special for me to help me out, or I get a gift. A thoughtful gift. Oh, I don't know. You don't understand your feelings, so God help anyone trying to understand them. I think I'm probably the same. I think that's actually why I'm doing this, Banana. I'm like, pl please help me understand myself a bit better. Hey, baby, how's about I go down to the post office and pay your water bill? Yeah. That's thoughtful, isn't it? I don't know. They, yeah, the first one. Someone I love doesn't check their phone while we're talking. Oh, I hate that. So, or someone I love goes out of their way to do something that re relieves pressure on me. Like a massage? Yeah? We don't pay for water in Ireland. I think we pay for water. I mean, my mum pays for it. I think. Yeah. Oh, my God. Guys, if you... It, oh. I'm probably the last person to go to for dating advice. But if you do happen to go on a date, unless there's an emergency... Do not fucking check your phone. Do not check your phone. I think it's so rude. Your water bill is £400. Is that, that can't be for a month. I'll have to ask my wife, but I'm sh pretty sure I am, and she doesn't know she's your, your wife. Wait, who, you... Hey, Toffee, have you got a wife? They tried to start like 10 years ago, the country lost their shit. You know what, in Ireland they don't fuck about, do they? That's one thing that I do like about Irish people is that they 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 know their rights, don't they? £400 in six months. That's a lot for water though, isn't it? I can look forward to a holiday because I'll probably get a gift Someone I love. Who the fuck has made this quiz? Guys, would you rather look forward to a holiday because you'll probably get a gift from someone you love or hear the words I appreciate you from someone I love? Fucking hell, man. You do not have a wife. Oh, ele oh, electric! Oh god. 
As far as I'm aware, but I did get very drunk in Thailand, so who knows what the fuck I did. Hey, Toffee, you might be in. You might be in. Look there. Someone I love and haven't seen in a long, in a while thinks enough of me to give me a little... G Again, with the gifts. Or someone I love takes care of something I'm responsible to do, but I feel too stressed. Someone I love takes care of something I'm responsible to do, but I feel too stressed to do it at the time. That happens a lot. Someone I love doesn't interrupt me while I'm talking or gift giving is an important part of the relationship with someone I love. It's rude to interrupt someone when they're talking. That's just basic manners. Someone I love helps me out when they know I'm already tired or I get to go somewhere while spending time with someone I love. Yeah, spending quality time with, with them. Someone I love touches my arm or shoulder to show their care or concern. Oh no. Someone I love gives me a little gift that they picked up in the course of their normal day. Yeah, I don't like people touching me. So I will say the gift thing, even though I think... There have been a lot of questions about gifts, haven't there? What's that all about? Someone I love says something encouraging to me, or I get to spend time in a shared activity or hobby with someone I love. Shared activity or hobby. Because, yeah, those are the things that, like... Because, you know what, you could be dating the most attractive person you know, the most beautiful person in the world. But if you have nothing in common, if you can't, like, do an activity together, then what's the point? It's just like, it's just like sitting with a plank of wood then, isn't it? Someone that I love surprises me with a small token of their appreciation. Do you mean a gift by any chance? Or I'm touching someone I love frequently to express our friendship. In what way? Looks aren't everything, but I can't wank over a personality. I guess that is true. You don't necessarily need to wank over them. You, you, you have the internet, don't you? That's chocolate. Oh, I do like chocolate, though. Yeah, I ain't touching people, bloody hell, man. Someone I love helps me out, especially... Have we already had that? We've already had that question. Someone I love helps me out, especially if they know if I know they're already busy. Or I hear someone I love tell me that they appreciate me. You'd rather have a relationship with someone you get on with and have things in common with over looks. Yeah. If someone if someone's busy, I don't want them going out of their way. I get a hug from someone whom I haven't seen in a while, or I hear someone I love. Tell me how much I mean to him or her. I mean... I think may, it might be an autism thing. But, yeah. I'm I'm not a big hugger. I'm trying to get better with hugs. Which is, yeah, which is why I've been trying to hug my mother. But I think, she, yeah, she's just as awkward as me. Just taking notes here, ready for your next relationship. If whatever happens, banana, yeah. It will. I have faith in you. Oh, we're done. Wait, your primary love language is quality time. Quality time, 33%. Physical touch is the least. I mean, that checks out, doesn't it? Because I'm autistic. Well, I'm autistic and asexual. Hell no. Interesting. 
In quarter time, nothing says I love you like full undivided attention. Being there for this type of person is critical, but really being there with the TV off, fork and knife down, and all chores and tasks on standby makes you feel truly special and loved. Distractions, postponed activities, or the failure to listen can be especially hurtful. Whether it is spending uninterrupted time talking with someone else or doing activities together, you deepen your connection with others through sharing time. Oh, that's nice. 